Good morning. Thank you for the introduction. Uh, I will present the uh, multiply projection algorithm for constraining equilibrium problems uh, by Santos and Chamber. Uh, first, I will present uh, a motivation. The constrained variational inequality problem uh, have proposed by Sensor and authors two years ago uh, in this work. Uh, they assume monotonicity and Lipschitz continuity. Uh, then we will explain our contribution. Ah, uh, before this, the algorithm proposed by Sensor and the others. Uh, is a projection algorithm. One, two, three projections uh, about in hyperplane. Then, now, I explain our contribution. Okay? First, a uh, formulation of the constraint equilibrium problem. Then, I will present the algorithm for the Euclidean space first. An application to the split equilibrium problem. Finally, a numerical illustration. Uh, the constraining equilibrium problem consists in finding a, a point in the intersection of the solution set of an equilibrium problem and a cons con closed convex set D. Our assumptions, okay, uh, F is an equilibrium B function. It's a well-known result that uh, this formulation includes the variational inequality problem. Then we can include the constraining variation or inequality problem in the same way. Uh, if C is a subset of D, uh, this problem reduced to the classical general equilibrium problem. Uh, here we put uh, some reference related to the formulation of equilibrium problem. Kaifan, Bloom, BG. Okay. Uh, before to present the, the projection method, I will give some definitions. We recall the definition of diagonal subdifferential. And uh, here, not that if I fix x, we can. Uh, 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 define if the second argument is convex, we can define the subgradients of the second argument. Then we have the diagonal subdifference if I put x in the second argument. Okay? Uh, if I take x belong to c, then we have this inequality. First property. Uh, an equivalence uh, between the existence of a solution and uh, a special variation on inequality problem. Okay, here the diagonal subdifference uh, of f in the x bar. We can find uh, uh, more details in this reference. Uh, on the maximal monotonicity of the functions of diagonal subdifference. Okay. Uh, we recall the definition of quasi fetter convergence. It be useful in the convergence analysis. The first proposition is a, a well-known consequence of the quasi fetter convergence. Uh, here, the, uh, we obtain the boundness of the seconds, the convergence of the seconds, if in the Euclidean space, if an accumulation point of xk belongs to 
the set V, then we have the convergence of the whole sequence. We present the second property. Uh, the function F verifies this property if we have X bar uh, is related to two points. Okay? If F of X bar and X star equal F of X star and X bar is equal to zero, then X bar also is a solution, okay? It's a solution also. Uh, this property is related to the uh, kind of paramonotonicity of the B function F. Uh, actually, we can find uh, a related property in work proposed by Castellani and Julie, and Julie, where uh, they define, they have defined the pseudomonotonist star of B functions. Uh, uh, that condition implies an, uh, this condition, okay? Uh, and not that uh, the property of F is, is a necessary but not sufficient condition for the paramonotonist of the, uh, the operator, diagonal operator. Here we present an example. This example is a, a well-known example, uh, a rotation, uh, rotation operator. In this case, F is monotony and verifies property two. But this operator is not paramonotony. Now we present our math. Shoes x0 belongs D, the subgradient, and the first projection. Here, uh, we, we emphasize the first difference between this, form, this algorithm and the algorithm proposed by Senso. We include a stop criteria, a stop criteria. Okay? Uh, if x, xk is equal to yk, xk is a solution. Then we, we define a similar half space. Uh, a, a, a bounding, which a bounding hyperplane. We take another subgradient in the new point. We use the, the divergent series step size hull. Uh, we can assume that hull k is a constant. The, the, the projection in the half space. And then we obtain the xk plus one, the new iterate, okay? Under a projection on the set D. The main difference, the stop criteria, and with this formulation, we can include set valid variation on inequality problems. Among the others problems, uh, uh, Problems are, uh, are when the problem are is a particular case of an equilibrium problem. Okay, uh, our first theorem: uh, f is a, an a equilibrium B function. The, con the convex in the second argument is necessary, and our first result. Uh, if the stop criteria uh, is used, then xk is a solution point. Okay. This uh, assumption is no uh, pseudomonotonicity of the B function f. We assume the existence of solution. Then we obtain the quasi-fetcher convergence of the, so 
the, of the sequence generated by our method, uh, projection method for constraining equilibrium problems. And the two consequences we, we, we obtain uh, now, uh, uh, the boundness of the sequence, xk, is a direct consequence of the cause fragile convergence, and the existence of accumulation points of the sequence. Okay. We include uh, the convergence of the sequence and the existence of accumulation points we obtain that the accumulation points uh, belong uh, on C inter D. This summability, okay, without add assumption. Uh, here, we include assumption A5, uh, upper semi-continuum of F in the first argument, we fix the second argument, then the function defined by the first argument is upper semi-continuous for all y belong or n. Uh, this is a, 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 a usual assumption, a standard assumption. We recall the property two, okay? And we assume that the Subdifferential uh, is bounded to unbounded subset. Actually, if if I, I uh, possibly I will remove this assumption because when, uh, when f is convex in the second argument in the whole space, then we have the continuity. Uh, the second XK generated by our method converges to a solution of the constrained equilibrium problem. Okay. Now, we give our application. Uh, here, uh, we, we have the split equilibrium problem. Find X, one star. In the set omega. Here we have uh, a linear operator A, uh, the first equilibrium in the second equilibrium problem. We can reformulate this problem as an unconstrained equilibrium problem. Uh, I take C, the Cartesian product, T in this way, and the B function F defined by the sum of B functions one and two. Not the detail. Okay, the the split equilibrium problem uh, have uh, have been proposed, by, for example, by Z He two years ago also. We can find the related problems in MODAF three years ago. And we recall sensor and the others, uh, like related references, related works. Now we present a numerical example of the split equilibrium problem. The definition of omega, Q, the operator, the, the, the B functions, F, capital F1 and capital F2. Ooh, here, the solution set, the first equilibrium, and the second equilibrium, we have the solution set, okay? We recall the formulation of the split equilibrium problem. Now we put in our formulation of constraining equilibrium problem, C, the con 
the set D, we use this index to clarify our reformulation. Then we have this B function. We recall the constraint, equilibrium problem. Then we, we, we uh, report our numerical experience. We use this computer, the stop criteria. We use this, uh, uh, this is the parameter of convex combination. The sequence, uh, this squared summable sequence. We solve the problem using 100 starting points from a uniform random distribution in this interval. We take the average number of iteration, CPU time, and we put the approximate solution in the table. the average, time, and the solution. Okay. Uh, uh, my final remark. Huh? Here, we summarize our work. And now, I give some directions of future work. Uh, first, first, uh, we intend to, to extend our method for the Hilbert space, okay, to permit comparisons, more comparisons, and include a more general class of problems. To try use another step size hull, to improve our numerical experience and our happiness. That's all. Thank you for your presentation.